60 years ago, a small group of Quakers made this cloud forest in Monte Verde, Costa Rica their home. The community flourished alongside its thriving dairy industry with the Quaker values of peace, acceptance, and community at its core. Today on Million Ways to Live, we meet Benito Guindin, son of one of the original founders of the community, who shows us that walking your own unique path in life may be the only way to happiness. Well, my parents came down with the first group that moved from the States and they basically moved for religious purposes. They don't feel it's right to participate in war and killing and there was a peacetime draft in the U.S. and my father refused to register so they were sentenced to a, a year and a day prison terms um, and that judge that, that um, since them said, well, if you don't agree with the laws of this country, maybe you should find some better place. And uh, they knew that Costa Rica had abolished its army and were very receptive to people coming in and helping develop. So a whole group decided to move down to Costa Rica. The Quaker community of Monte Verde is non-programmed, which means there are no pastors. Instead, the group meets in silence, with meetings being more like meditation and people only speaking when they feel compelled and moved spiritually. All decisions are made by consensus, and though this group was founded with conservative values at its root, they have now radically shifted their stance on the most controversial of biblical issues. Probably the one thing that comes up the most that's controversial is homosexuality and how you interpret the Bible on that issue. I had, my next youngest brother came out as being gay when he was in high school and I never did until I was like maybe 10 years ago. I was totally supported by people of all ages. You know, it was just like getting rid of a huge weight. I had expected it would change things a lot more than it did. <laughs> it, and I found, you know, it didn't, things didn't change that much. And I really feel blessed that I've had this Quaker community here in Monteverde to be behind me and support me. Like many Monteverde Quakers, Benito is a passionate dairy farmer. With his small herds of cows and goats, he sells raw milk and cheese to local families and businesses. But he only considers farming to be a hobby rather than a full-time job. He makes sure to leave plenty of time available for his other passions, like playing instruments, singing in the church choir, and his favorite, pine needle basket weaving. Um, originally, I started doing it, you know, as a way to, you know, to make something as a gift. But I find working with my hands and, and doing that type of work, it's it relaxes me. It's a way of de-stressing, and it's it's just it's something I enjoy. Benito is truly his own individual, but that doesn't happen by accident. You have to be open and honest with yourself, listen to your soul's true calling, and have a supportive community around you. And that's exactly what Monteverde has provided for Benito. Yesterday there was a message given in the meeting about fear and love really being the two emotions, and I'm very much aware that this fear that I've always had of being myself and being open makes a big block for, for your spiritual journey, you know, for moving forward. <laughs> I really feel that unless you are able to be who you really are and be open and honest first with yourself and then with others, you, you're never going to reach your potential and humankind will not reach our potential unless you can really be who you were created to be. Reach now.